What is VPS? VPS means Virtual Private Server. So when you hear that, you might think these are my own private resources. No, there is no single provider that will actually assign you resources that you bought. Instead, they will dynamically assign what is available and these specs that you got are just a limit. This applies to both VPS and web hosting. If you get web hosting package with like 10 GB of space, you won't use it all, right? You will use 5 GB, maybe 8 GB, but not full 10 gigs. With 100 GB or even bigger uh, web hosting plans, you will use even less percent of available space, and providers know this and use this knowledge. If customers are using 30% of space on average, that means that provider can sell 3 terabytes out of 1 terabyte server. Provider gets 3 times more money, and customers won't really notice because there is still a physical limitation. When server hits 100% storage usage, you cannot create more files. It's done. So provider can sell 3 terabytes of space on 1 terabyte server, but they cannot go above 100%. But that doesn't apply to CPU, and if they could sell 3TB on 1TB server, you know how crazy they can go with CPU? There can be 4, 10 or even 50 cores per physical core, because there is no limit. You will still do calculations, it will just get slower. This creates two big problems. If provider oversold the CPU, it can lead to bad performance, and then you don't know if there is a problem with your application or website, and you can waste time trying to optimize it. Offer that looked so great on paper, had 4 virtual cores, can actually perform worse than one virtual core at another provider. Overselling is no joke. Let me show you how you can actually check if you get what you paid for. I will start with shared hosting because surprisingly, you can get a lot of information via this script that I linked in description. Here are statistics of web hosting that I got from Rocknet one month ago. And I also have another one that I got one year ago. So we can see that they are on another physical servers. And this one that I got one year ago is fully loaded. 86% of space usage. We can see that only 240 gigabytes are free. And I can use almost 50 gigabyte more. So if I would use that, that would decrease the free memory to 190 gigabytes, and it would reach 90% of usage. That is very high, and that means they oversell storage a lot. We can also see RAM usage. Right now we can see 61%, and on a new server it's only 35%. So I will say that RAM is not oversold. But CPU is oversold. Here you can see how much percent of CPU is idle. And right now 0% of CPU is idle. It's fully utilized and my website isn't really receiving much traffic right now. So if it would receive a lot of traffic, it would be a little bit slow. We can refresh page a couple of times and now we see 54% idle, now 22% idle, now 6% idle and 53% idle. So CPU is oversold, storage is oversold and memory is not oversold. With VPS, instead of guessing, you can actually check how much overselling is affecting your performance. Just run top from your SSH, and you will get app with two very important values. WA is IO weight, ST is CPU steel. If WA is high, that means that CPU needs to wait for data from your storage, which in most cases indicates that storage speed is heavily limited. You can check if it's the case by running yaps.sh. 
Be aware that it can also mean that this storage is just too slow, not limited. So you can see high WA even on dedicated server. If you have a mechanical hard drive, but on NVMe, it should always be close to zero. Real world example. I had a client that had WooCommerce site hosted on VPS with eight virtual cores, 30 gigabytes of RAM and 800 gigabytes SSD. So very nice specs, but the website wasn't fast. He asked me to diagnose it and I saw high WA number. I migrated him to three vCore and four gigabyte RAM VPS and website was faster. He saved two thirds of money that he spent on VPS and the website was faster, just because storage wasn't that heavily limited. You also have this ST number. This is CPU still, so basically how much of CPU that you want to use was already in use by someone else. If you have high steel number, that will heavily decrease performance of your VPS, because not only you don't get all the performance you paid for, but also because of this fighting for resources, you get extra latency. If you have 0.1 or 0.2 steel, this is not. Nothing. Even 1.0 is not a big deal, but starting from 5.0 you will notice that and some providers can oversell so much that you will see values like 10, 20 or even more. It completely destroys performance and latency of everything you do on such VPS. Even SSH login can be slow, but remember, you need to test it under load, because it tells you how much of CPU that you want to use was stolen. So what you should do if you see that overselling affects performance of your server or web hosting. The simplest thing that is very effective is to contact your provider. Tell them what's the problem, how it's affecting your application and ask them to fix that problem. They can move you to another physical server that has less load, they can increase your IO limits so WA number will go lower or they can check if someone isn't abusing resources and ruining performance for everyone on that physical server. If they don't want to fix the problem, then you should probably consider switching providers. But but if you need to use that particular provider, then you cannot fix CPU steel, but you can fix high WA number by pushing things into RAM. In case of WordPress, you can install in a memory database such as Redis, and that can completely fix your problems because you won't use that much of storage bandwidth. You will use RAM. If these things don't help, then you can diagnose your apps, see if you can decrease number of queries. And this month I will show you in depth WooCommerce optimization where I will show exactly that. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe. That's all for today. Have a nice day.